Hey, the guys were looking at uh, Berlin 85. And we've only just played the first two turns, but we've had some nasty surprises. We've found that uh, these untried units that have defense of five, when you're attacking with uh, seven, uh, actually we attacked with, uh, yeah, we attacked with seven, not a good idea. Sp particularly in this, uh, if you'll see here, let me see if I can zoom in here a little bit for you. This industrial, uh, whoa, I lost myself. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, this industrial landscape is uh, providing three column shifts over on on this combat table here. So you add up the combat factors and look at the delta, and uh, whatever that difference is, you go to that column. And from there, so here if we had uh, a plus four, we would then you know roll on that table. Oh, but we've got to adjust for terrain. And for industrial, we go one, two, three, back to the zero column, and that's a bad column. Both sides retreat, attack, attacker retreats, one, exchanges. We even have an attacker exchange results in here, which are just brutal. Uh, so what happened in turn two? That's what happened in turn two. If I'm playing this correctly, that's just a beat down. So looking at the big picture, of, uh, of you know, the situation, the, the Soviet forces are kind of spread around and I'm thinking that we may, uh, may be smart to try and consolidate our forces. So I'm going to uh, pull these chaps, I'll leave one unit down here to block. I'm going to pull the East Germans around and consolidate them with this division up here. I think that's the uh, 14th Guard. So we'll bring the 14th Guard and the East Germans together and we're going to go for the airport over here. Uh, as aggressively as we can and then from this direction uh, over from East Berlin I'm going to swing most of those forces down and just try and crush these guys here and, and press in uh, as quickly as we can. Uh, the, the attrition based nature of this has not played out the way I thought it might uh, although there are six, uh, seven now, seven dead West German police units that really ain't a whole lot, particularly given that there's uh, there's some pretty beefy French, British, and American units left on the board. So the attrition uh, side of things have been pretty surprising to me, and I like the idea of uh, the accumulated surrender points here. Uh, if the if the if the Allies do the NATO forces fall too far behind, uh, they can be forced to take an honourable surrender, which is pretty interesting. This table here, but we'll talk about that some other time once we. Uh, it once and if we get to that situation all right so in the meantime uh we will continue on here with uh, i think that'll be turn three ciao